All right, here we go. You guys are on Rage TV. Let's throw up that little splash screen here. Rage TV. United, we rage. The EU stream happening right now. I am Rage Poo with co-host Gustav. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, hello. All right. So you guys know the drill. Everything's very lulled right now. Very much. Oh, uh, did tragedy you want in on the call? Maybe he would want to co-host as well. That could be interesting. The more the merrier. I always need uh, people with lore understanding of what's going on, like the units and whatnot. So let's see. Oh, thank you. Okay. Cool. Alright, so it looks like the very first fight is going to be between Cyrus and uh, Desire here. A little bit of back and forth. I think uh, I think Desire is going to have the better, though. These choke points are just not good. I, I wouldn't recommend him staying up here. He's going to lose some units. Always favors range on that high ground. But let's uh, let's get to know the players. Bottom left hand side we have Olgu and I Desire. Olgu's from Mads, Desire from Envy. Top left hand side we have Grim Reaper with his brand new shiny uh, CC. I believe that's exclusive for only tournament winners so that's pretty cool. And Thornado. I like that name. That's a pretty cool name. Thornado. Top right hand side we have Cyrus and it's Cy Cyrus Quaffer, I believe. I have no idea what a Quaffer is. It, it reminds me of Harry Potter. It sounds cool. It's got to be part of a sport, isn't it? What's a Quaffer? No idea. No idea. I don't. I have no idea either. From Mawin, we got Millionaire. Bottom right hand side, we have Garth. And oh my gosh, Zap. Oh okay, Zaffir Akpinar. <laughs> I think that's the name. I have no no clue. I guess I should start asking these players after game. Um, usually I don't. Usually I'm streaming and then they're like, hey, new game. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. So we'll go play a new game. I have no time to interview you guys. By the time it's all said and done, it's already U.S. time. Go stream over there. That's okay. Actually, uh, for those of you who are wondering, I've taken a major backseat to U.S. streaming. Um, half of that is for personal reasons. The other half is because I'm getting new equipment, and I really just don't want to stream um, until the new equipment is here. It's going to sound a lot better. It's going to be a lot better. And nice round. Oh, yeah. Looks like Thornado, though, is going to be able to save some of it. Yeah. That was a good surround. Ooh, Grim. What is he doing? He's been really favoring that medevac. And I think he totally should. It, it's a great, great tool. Look at this. He could get a nice surround here. Oh, he exposed it. Okay. So let's say... Oh, this is great. Nice use of the high ground. Good use of the rocks. Very, very nice. Okay, there's the scan. Oh, is he going to save, though? He doesn't have it pushed out from the CC. But uh, the save can go very, very far. Very far, in fact. If you've ever played EU, do you see where this little Zelnaga Tower is? I'm going to make a line for you guys at home. See this little line right here? That's how far that little rascal can travel. Saviors are deadly. I've had units right here. Right, pretty much right at the Zelnaga Tower, like the observatory right there. Whatever you'd call it. This little antenna thing. It can go that freaking far. It's <clears throat> it's a nightmare. So be careful. High ground. You're not safe. You're just not safe. <laughs> Looks like a Raven coming out for top right. We're probably going to see some Raven play this game. Yes, we do. Looks like Desire coming out with a Raven. And Millionaire going to have a Raven. Probably will go double Raven. We've seen Min Millionaire do this before. And his partner, usually on Alcove, will go a similar style with, uh, with Zerglings, upgrade them to Cracklings and Marines. So while Millionaire uh, plays like a more supportive role. But uh, 
the Ravens are are not just for support. I mean, they could be very offensive, can't they? Yeah, definitely. Okay. If the uh, uh, seeker missiles. This is curious. I've never seen an early Banshee before. Wow. And a, and a Viking. This is really interesting. And I think he's going to continue to get uh, Banshees here. Oh, wow. This is this is something new, and I like it. Nope, another uh, Viking. Yeah, he might just have uh, misclicked. Oh, that's unfortunate because, the, I mean, the Banshee is great. It's doing lots of damage. Uh, yeah, but uh, mostly against heroes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to lose a Viking. He's going to lose it. No! <laughs> there it goes. Poof. And tragedy saying by early banshee loose game. I don't know what. What did he mean by that? <laughs> I guess he's saying maybe early banshee he might lose the game. Cause it's fourteen damage only. Uh, looks like we have a DT, no scans yet. There we go. <clears throat> Very fast 10 minutes. Can't believe it's already gone down. And two battle cruisers. Whoa! Coming out for Thornado. That's going to be interesting. Could see some base snipes. Well, Merc snipes. I guess I shouldn't say base snipes, but uh, mercenary compound snipes. So yeah, it might have just been a little bit of a misclick. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, in the U.S. version, it does like this, uh, the ground attack that that's similar yeah. to campaign. Splash. Yeah, splash. Yeah. And uh, it looks like this one does not have that. If it did, I bet you it would be a lot more viable early game. Yeah, definitely. Mm hmm. I wonder if Thumbwolf has any uh, intentions of maybe implementing that in the future. I believe the, the HOTS game is, is pretty much complete, is it not? I think uh, I was playing the test map the other day, and it seems fairly optimized. Is there... Okay. When is he planning on releasing that, do you know? No, I have no idea. Well, hopefully it'll be soon. I would love to see the, uh, the the new units. I think there's about three new units in total. A lot of optimizations. The the uh, whatever you call this, the the little GUI here is very optimized. It's very pretty. New pictures. It's it's very much updated. It looks it looks nice. Oh, okay. Not a whole lot of action going on this game. Everyone's just kind of chilling out. It looks like there is a little bit of a push from Cyrus, but his units were not there. Uh-oh. Still doing a lot of damage, though. And a save! Oh, double save! No! Ah, oh, That was painful. Uh, good save. Double save. Epic save. <laughs> Alright, let's add uh let's add tragedy to call. Where is he on my list? Alright, there we go. Double save is never good. Nice drop, nice surround. He's gotta be careful not to lose the medevac. Very nice, double ultra epic save. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, is that you, Tragedy? Your mic is so quiet. Seriously? It's super quiet. I can't even hear you.
No better. Uh, yeah, that's a lot better. People at home weren't going to be able to hear you. Looks like Garth could be in a little bit of trouble. He's getting surrounded. Bottom right, lost a lot of units. They did a double save. I swear, if they do a double save here, they're going to be in so much trouble. Very nice play by Cyrus, picking off those units. And now if Millionaire came in after and continued to punish these units, they could be in so much trouble. Triple Battle Cruiser coming out, top left. Thornado. I freaking love that name. He should start using some Thors, though. Then he would be the true Thornado. Looks like Millionaire getting the second Raven. Did he lose a Raven earlier? I did not see it. I don't think so. No? You guys are quiet today. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need some coffee? Me? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> you're all so quiet, chat. You're on you're on lot you're live. Talk to the audience. Let them know what's going on. What do you see? Oh yeah? <laughs> All right, guys. All right, no pressure. I'll I'll talk to the audience. It's cool. All right, it looks like there's some auto turrets coming down, and he's really going for a base snipe here. Hopefully, he'll uh, he'll be able to get this merc. And no, maybe a few more turrets on the high ground. No, we won't be able to. You have to a lot of units there. Too much it's, units, I'm not. It's got a lot of marauders sitting at home. Could upgrade them. Looks like Garth going Maranger. We could see Maranger come out top right. Of course, teammate chooses Rangers as well now. <laughs> oh, yeah, double Maranger. Everybody's going Maranger. Not Tornado. Ooh! Able to pick off that BC right at the last second. <laughs> Desire saying double ranger is bomb. And you know what? I mean, if you look, everybody's countering Thornado at least. Because, <laughs> look, even bottom right decided to go Ranger. Everybody went Ranger. Now, what's going to be awesome about this is that since top right elected to go Crackling, he's pretty much countered everyone on the map. He's going to get a lot of money. Look at how quickly they fall to these Cracklings. It's like a joke. Look at this. Boop, boop. <laughs> he's even at a choke point. And he's getting money. Oh, another save. Okay. Just bottom right, buddy, you're killing me. They only have one save left. Decent secret missile. One save left. And top right is, should be able to rip right through them at this point. Look at this. They don't even do any damage to these cracklings. There's no armor on them either. He could get two armor right now, and he would just flood this. Nice micro, though. Ooh, nice seeker missile! Ooh, could he pick off the raven, though? No, no. Threw down some turrets. And look at this. It looks like uh, Desire, with his own turrets, are going to start focusing. Yeah, put him on the high ground, buddy. A lot of scans going down. They see that bottom right is in danger. Not in very big danger. Yeah, it looks like top left does have their support towers. Top right should as well. There's one. I don't see the second tower. Bottom left has support towers. Oh, just one. And double support towers for bottom right. Lots of chronoing, but really this is... I feel like this is just going to be feed. I think uh, Cyrus should just... No, no, he's going to get surrounded. Oh... I think if Cyrus is wise, he would continue to go to bottom right and, and feed, because that's just that's a cesspool of feed. But now it's hard to get in this dead ball of Marangers and Cracklins can't do if they not in very big in numbers when can't do nothing. Mm. Oh oh Medevac. 
Grim Dawn lose Medevac, it's good, very. It's very good indeed. In fact, he needs to heal it. Where's that heal? Oh my god. I've seen this time and time again, Grim. You're gonna lose that Medi. <laughs> I was playing a game with, uh, who was I playing with? Was it, uh, Desire, Inspire? Oh man, I can't even remember right now. Uh, I was playing an epic game the other day, and, uh, my partner had a medevac, and he just, he continued to lose it. I had to bring it back, heal it, <laughs> and then he would go for it. I mean, he probably lost at least six or seven medevacs. I'm not sure if it was Desire or Inspire. Well, they're right in big trouble. Yeah, they're, they're in a lot of trouble. In fact, top right, it's continuing to push out the Crackling's three armor. Yeah, he's going to be able to just wipe out bottom right, even with these bunkers. And there we go. That's the final save. Ooh. Overextended himself a little bit. He did a recall. Did he save the medevac? No, he did not. But he did buy a new one. And there we go. Bottom right is just getting overwhelmed at this point. Those cracklings. Those cracklings are crazy against rangers. So if you think that rangers are too OP, well, that might be true. But you know what? You can just get some cracklings and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Even that Thor. There goes the Thor. Let's look at the points tab real quick, guys, uh, for everyone viewing at home. It looks like despite being able to take out bottom right, Cyrus is not really in a huge lead. I mean, he does have some lead, but uh, I Desire is doing fairly well. Grim and uh, Thornado are doing very well for themselves as well. So uh, they're not tremendously far ahead. In fact, Grim and... and Thornado and Cyrus and Millionaire are fairly equal. Maybe not so now because Cyrus did pick up uh, bottom right. And there we go. It looks like uh, bottom left will see exactly what's going on here. Could see a double seeker on the medevac. Oh no, he could lose this medevac. It's going way too deep. No. Where's that recall? Oh, wow. Actually able to win that engagement. Here come the Cracklings. Now, Marauders do fairly well versus Cracklings. A lot of splash damage. I imagine that if there's enough Raiders in a ball, as you were talking about, uh, that the splash would be huge and, and they would be taken out very quickly. Uh, yeah. Already seven attack ups on those Marauders. Look at that, almost 30 damage, 41 to biological. Oh, cracklings are biological, so they definitely do... Uh, they take a lot of damage, and there's only about 200 hit points. 40 damage in splash is huge, especially this early. With the way this game is going so far, guys, what are your thoughts? Who do you think is going to be able to win it? Hmm. I'm not sure, but I don't think it is bottom left. No? Because, because all good don't have the shrapnel gr grenades upgrades, which are very important. And wow. the, he don't have a high bounty. Looks like top I left does top have. Left uh, I'm top sorry, go ahead. Game. Top left and Grim and Tornado in game, I think. They have contrary against Marangers and Cracklings. It's a very good chance for them. Ooh, we yeah. can see a nice surround. Nice pickup of the Medivac. He's going to lose a lot of units here, though. I don't think he even cares. That's a That was a nice snipe coming out of Millionaire.
And... Nice recall. Oh, missing about three Marines. They're in trouble. <laughs> Look at them run frantically. They don't know what to do. <laughs> nice harassment coming out of Millionaire. Top right. In okay. fact, very nice. These Marauders are having some trouble. There we go. Uh, I desire you to save. Oh, uh, yep. Savior. Yep, he did. Nice scan. Yeah, it looks like Grim got surrounded here. Let's take a look at the points tab again real quick. It looks like Cyrus taking a nice lead. He's almost at 7,000. Picking up bottom right really did help. Millionaire, not too bad, 5,700. And it looks like Desire's doing fairly well. But as you mentioned before, it looks like uh, Olgu just... Uh, just not able to to do a whole lot. He's actually feeding quite a bit here. Nice seeker missile though. Able to clean up the rest of the marines. We have ghost in map. Tornado made ghost. Maybe it's for ravens, I think. Mm. Nice catch, yes he did. He does have a ghost here. And was not able to pick off the Raven. In fact, Millionaire could take out this army. He does counter those Marauders. Oh, uh, where's his partner? Oh, no, Grim is out of units. He has a Fester sitting back at home. There, uh, this might need to save. He's losing a lot of units. There it is. There's that save. It's really late, though. And, uh... That's not going to be good. Top right. Ooh, top right is doing fairly well here. The bunker comes down. It's a little late, though, and those cracklings are doing so much damage to it. Down it goes. There we go. Nice fungal. Fungal is going to be able to totally take out these cracklings uh, and keep them in check as long as he can keep it alive. There we go. Second save coming out from Grim. Not a very effective one again, it seems. It's... Uh, it only hit a few cracklings there. Big army sitting out in front of the base that could have been hit. Nice seeker missile right there. Alright, we got a little bit of uh, breathing on the stream. Who is that? I think that's Gustav. Can we move the mic just a tiny bit? All right, thank you, thank you. Mics are so sensitive. Yeah. Nice PDDs. Desire's going to be able to clean this up. Nice little stutter step. Looks like Cyrus coming in. He's in a choke point. Yeah, he's backing up for now. And top left is in a lot of trouble. I feel like the Fester is going to really help even out the playing field, uh, especially with the Lings. But if he's not careful, he, he could lose the Fester. The Medivac could drop. I mean, look at this. He doesn't have a very big army. Bottom left has a huge army still. And top right is looking just as scary as ever. Look at these Cracklings. Those are very strong cracklings. He's going to get so much money here. Nice round. And there we go, Millionaire. Coming around the backside. They should be able to clean up bottom left pretty well. Could we see a save? There's the save. Does it connect? Oh, it's got to hit Millionaire. No, it doesn't. Ah. Well, it did pick up Orge's units. But if it would have been able to pick up Millionaire as well... That would have been a really nice save. Yes, yes. And Desire saying, swear to God. <laughs> He's not happy about that save either. I don't think he's happy about these cracklings. 
I wouldn't be either. Desire, though, doing fairly well. He's really close with Cyrus. He's at the 8,000 mark. So is Cyrus. He's at 8,500. Grim is struggling here as he's elected not to go with High Templar or Ravens this game. And this ghost. Oh, this ghost. This is a very tense if moment. can make Queenies be very good. And down it goes. so much. I think if he, if he gets full upgrade, Queen is BGG, it's auto GG. Queen always in games. It's very hard to contour Queen. Even the two free spe specters is very hard. Yeah, the uh, the Queen is very fast. I'm surprised that any snipes or any lashes can can be uh, used because that Queen is so fast once it's on creep. You see, his speed is the biggest OP thing. In fungal, it's it's a very big damage too, but queen speed is the biggest problems to snipe. Don't give the snipe queen where it's impossible snipes if player have enough practice for queen. Looks like we could see an engagement. Bottom right hand side. Nice seeker missile. But there's still a lot of cracklings. Oh, they're nice. They're in a uh, nice little concave though here. I think uh, they're clumped up too much though. The splash damage is going to be huge. And yeah, he's losing a lot of cracklings here. He did clean up the rest of that army, but I feel like he lost a lot of cracklings. He definitely lost some marines for sure. Look at that, two armor now, nine attack. 16 damage marines. Let's see how everyone else is doing. 14 damage, 15. So his marines aren't too OP just yet. Looks like 14. No upgrades for Thornado yet. Go in pure Merc. And look at this, uh, top left deciding to go with Triple Bunker, and it's almost as if he's kind of feigning the fact that he doesn't have any saves left. Because usually you don't see bunkers unless they don't have any saviors. So this is kind of a, a, nice, a nice move, because look, now both top right and bottom left are going into the army, and this, this could be big feed. Oh, nice Seeker Missile to the Infestor, almost killed it. And the, oh, the other one wants to get it so bad. And this is nice. I, I think I like this bunker fane right here, where where they're kind of saying, "Yeah, we don't have any saves. This is great." Bunkers are very good vs crackling since block them very much and give other units time to snipe them. It's helped very much. But look, all these bunkers. They if you not transfuse them, as all will die in next attack. Now look, it's, they all will fall now. Nice save. With this Chrono Boost, though, he's going to be able to get out so many Cracklings yet again. Top left. There's only one Savior. He's got to be careful with it. Looks like we could see some drops with the Queen. He just has to be careful of the Ravens. And I think he should heal up that Medivac. It's one Seeker Missile away from being killed. There's that queen. One seeker missile. Oh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Get out of there. Ah. Losing the medevac, but on the brighter note, the queen is still alive. Infester, not queen. Infester. Oh, Fester. Good call. I gotta turn this off. They need Queen, and very fast they need with the Queen. Infestar not enough good. It's too easy to kill Infestar. Queen much more effective. But nice fungal. Mm. 
Grim losing Festa and last save. He can die now. If all continue attack never, I think they already lose game. Top left is in a lot of trouble. No savior left. Oh no! The queen, I think, would have been a great move. It was just risky. Couldn't get it out in time. And the command center is in a lot of trouble. Ooh, down it goes. And top left is going to be eliminated. Top right did so well this game. I really think just the cracklings were so strong. Uh, they countered everybody. The only person that didn't counter was top left, but he just wasn't able to feed enough. Because everyone else countered Marader, so it's... Oh, what a... What a tragedy. That was... Oh. At least a tragedy for them. For Cypher, it's great. <laughs> I mean, he's sitting pretty. <laughs> Uh, he's going to be able to, to eliminate top or bottom left so easily. I mean, those cracklings just, just eat through these rangers. And, uh, it looks like, okay, we have a little bit of a pause. Alright everybody, uh, I'm going to take just like a two minute break, it looks like we're paused. Uh, if you haven't already grabbed, grabbed some water, some food, uh, we will be streaming more. This game was very quick, under an hour. Uh, it should be, I would imagine. Uh, I don't think top right will have any problems uh, you know, winning against bottom left. So uh, we could see more action coming up here very shortly. Stay tuned guys. You know, looking at the scoreboard, it's still so close. It, this is such a shame. It was a very close game. If you look, uh, Millionaire wasn't too much farther ahead of Thornado, and Grimm was right on top of Cyrus. In fact, Cyrus only caught up to Grimm because he was able to kill the CCs and the army. So I really feel like that Fester was doing Grimm a lot of good. It just wasn't good enough. He just didn't have the army. Didn't have enough saves. And even yes, I desire I is think really if close. If High Templar is help more in that in this game, High Templar will help very much. High Templar upgrades is much more. You need much more cost to get these upgrades, and you don't need Archon to good position, but in Fester in you need Queen. With without Queen is very problem. In with no ultimate hero, High Templar better range in Fester, I think. In this well, stage of game, he did say he didn't want to go it. I guess, just to be fair, he said, I won't go High Templar. Uh, so that's why he elected to go Fester in the first place. But I totally agree. I think the High Templar would have been great. 
Octopride Marines, since they had about 100 HP and full upgrade high temple just one shot them all in. It's one siege storm kill them all. It's health too much. I think in, in Fast can do nothing in in this situation with yes, Cracklings. Only Queen can help. Our other High Templar will be much more better. Mm -hmm. That's very, very true. Nice save coming up from bot left, but I think that's all of them. No, actually, Old Goose still has one. And really, this is just a waiting game. Bottom left is just holding on by a thread. He is on par as far as points, but with uh, with with Olgu down, you know, about five thousand, plus the fact that you know Cyrus is going to be countering both of them at the same time. Uh, I just I just don't know. Desire have very not bad upgrade Marines. It's full upgrade in middle shop. These this Marines help vs Cracklings too much. That's why they still in game. Only Marangers will. It's no chance, but he upgrade Marines in time. It's very good play, but desire and High Templar. I go for him for High Templar. If he have enough time to get High Templar upgrades, it's be very good. It's help too much, but it's be very hard. Oh, double and feedback the on the Ravens, but. Seeker Missile, right at the last second, took out that Templar. And <laughs> Desire saying, okay, that wasn't ideal. <laughs> and here they go, I think they're going to go for it right here. Final save. And if Cyrus backs out, nice. Not a good save, and they're done. They're done. Maybe. They're going to hold out for quite some time, but look at these units just drop. Oh my gosh, these <laughs> units are just dropping in half. And this army is half of their army. That's that's nuts. Yeah, if they just all in at this point, they'll be okay. They'll win it. Look at that army. Ooh, bottom left was just eaten alive. Even the bunkers went down. Those crackings are very, very, very strong. And you know, it's not even that they're they're high attack, really. It's just that they're high hit points. Very, very, uh, very strong. Nice call downs. He needs, oh, he needs the support, though. Ah, oh, his partner's not there. There we go. Actually, didn't even need it. Wow. Usually, you see the uh, call down reins just get trashed, but uh, not in this situation. And there they go. GG! Well played, very fast game. Wow, 50 minutes. That's in-game minutes. This was less than that. It was like a 40-minute game. Very, very nice. Your winners tonight are going to be NV Cyrus Quaffer with Mawin's Millionaire. Great job, guys. Congratulations. All right, that's going to be it. But stay tuned for more Rage TV here with Ragey Poo. Stay tuned.